Okay, you guys, so <laughs> here we are. And I last night decided I'm just going to set my makeup station out here and just leave it out here all week. And maybe I'll do my makeup every day out here. And some days I might have to just do a voiceover, but today I've gotten, John's gonna shut his door and we'll just see if it works. And um, so I'm hopefully going to recreate a look I did yesterday. I was looking at a picture and I'll put the picture up here, a real bronzy look and I did it and I loved it and it lasted all day. I couldn't believe something that was so glowy and luminous lasted like it did. So I'm gonna try to do that again. I've already put on uh, the banana, the Ole Henriksen. Did I bring it out here? Yes. Banana Bright Eye Cream. I am loving this, loving it for the daytime. And then I have been also really loving this. This is the same line, the Banana Bright Face Primer with vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. It does kind of give like a little bit of a luminous look, but, and it's tacky and it's not even really tacky. It's just kind of a little bit grippy feeling and it dries. And this is what I wore yesterday and I really do feel like it helps your makeup last. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention is um, I do have on an outfit I'm gonna show you later, but I took a shower last night and two things actually, I need to do one other thing. I took a shower last night, I put my hair up in a towel because I didn't feel like it was, I felt like I could go one more day without washing it. And I just scrubbed and scrubbed, I just wanted everything off because we washed the sheets, put the new ones on and washed even the comforter and everything. And I didn't want to get any self tanner or anything on my sheets. And so today I just used my good old faithful Laura Geller baked body frosting and Tahitian glow. And I mean, just look how pretty it is. And now tonight I can take a shower or just take your washcloth and wash it off before you go to bed. To me, it's just such a better thing than putting on a bunch of junk that just gets everywhere. And I have tried so many self tanners and they're just all, I mean, they're good. I understand it's better than a real tan, all that kind of stuff, but they just, they're messy and then they wear off weird and then they catch on all your little uneven skin. And this is just wonderful. This is an old brush, but just find a good body brush. I remembered what I wanted to do. And I, it's cloudy, not, you know, it's not terribly dark, but there's no sun today. So I've turned on my big LED lights and normally I would turn on my overhead light too, but some of you complain that it's too yellow. It's, they're definitely warm bulbs. And um, so that's why you're seeing probably a little bit more darkness just because I don't have anything but those lights coming at me. So anyway, I try to make everybody happy. This is that Heritage by Mindy McKnight Lazy Day Dry Shampoo from my Walmart video. I mean, good stuff. Not only that day did it just give my hair new life, clean it, but it lasted all day. And you know how there are some sprays and dry shampoos that look good at that moment, but don't really keep it fluffy and clean all day? This did. So I thought today, matter of fact, last night I probably would have washed it again had I not known, it's got a good smell, like a, just like a light perfumey, powdery type smell. It's made with rice starch, arctic root, and volcanic minerals. But, um, you know, I always get oily right in there. But I wanted you to kind of witness it again because it's inexpensive. I think it was like seven or, seven or eight dollars or less than ten dollars, I believe. Always try to get it right up in there. But it actually, I mean, I almost prefer this hair to my just regular clean hair because it just gives it that much more body. So, so good. And let's get started. I actually have um, shopped my stash a little bit for this look because I wanted it to be very bronzy. You know what, there was one more thing I wanted to get. I'll be right back. So. I went upstairs and I grabbed this out of my little uh, foundation stash. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Number 209 Caramel Beige. If you're doing a bronzy look, 
a true bronzy look, you know, where you're really going for that look. I have found that I like to start off with a darker bronzy foundation and then add in your light rather than like yesterday even I didn't do that I started off with just like my regular foundation shade and it was harder to build that up and I think you end up using more products because you're just layering on and layering on so today I thought what I would do is yesterday I had used the Wander Beauty in medium but I think I might try this golden medium, which I said was too dark, but I wanna try it today and just see, I think for this look, I might actually like it. So, it's a good foundation, it really is. Okay, it's a little tiny bit messy, but you just have to be careful when you're pulling out that wand. Okay, and let's use this little it brush that I love. And I did wash my face with that Lancer um, scrub this morning. Okay, I put on too much foundation, but just learn from me, <laughs> learn from my mistakes. So you can see how it's too, too dark for me right now. But when we add in the other, I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is my concealer. I'm gonna use my Maybelline concealers. I'm gonna put a dot of the, what is this one? The light medium and then a dot of the light and mix it and I like to really you know kind of mix it up and yeah it's gonna be perfect just kind of pat it in like that and then you know let it sit there for just a second chin And I kind of like to just fan it out like that. But it's all according to your face shape and your forehead. <laughs> you may not have a big one like I do. And I'm just gonna keep on. Creating that shape like that. This just has good coverage without being chalky looking at all. Okay. And I think I might do just a little bit more of the light. In there, you see the light is uh, a lot brighter. So I'm keeping this right in that inner corner. on that new nail polish today. So pretty, that Sally Hansen one. Okay, so you can see that we're already getting that look that we wanted. And the next thing I wanna do is take this Rodeal Banana Powder that I've been loving and set my under eye. And I've been liking this side of this brush to do that. So let me pull my mirror closer here. Make sure that my, this concealer really doesn't get in your wrinkles that bad. So I'm gonna set that. I love this banana powder. I'm gonna set just the places that I put that concealer because I have some more cream products I wanna use. Okay, so you can see we're building that dimension, but I still have that bronzy look. Now I'm gonna use something, I just had to go get this out of my 
stash. It is the Contour Wand from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And sorry, I've got wide leg pants on and it's, I keep sitting on the other one. Okay, and these, I was watching Lisa J this morning. She used this and she mentioned, she said Marnia told her how to keep this from getting so messy. So I'm looking forward to that because I feel like that might have been part of the reason I haven't used this in a while. Okay, so open it, squeeze some out. You'll see it come up, okay, and then close it. That makes sense. So I'm gonna do my contour dots that I typically would. And you guys know I like to snatch my jawline as much as I can. And let's just start with that. I'm gonna put the lid on. And I did not wet a beauty blender to bring out here. Let me go get it. I hope that this is translating well on camera because I just went and I love to go and just like look in my mirror in my lighting and see how it looks and it just the whole look is looking good. Okay, so you can see how easy this blends in a little easier than that stick that I use a lot from Makeup Forever and this is a lot more neutral. but it still gives a really good contour. A lot of these, um, I just ordered another one actually from uh, Sephora. Can't remember if it was, it seems like it was Nude Sticks. And we'll try it. I'm always looking for, I do like the Benefit Hula stick. That's a good one, especially if you are lighter. But I'm somebody who wants kind of to Really, I'm gonna take the other end of this. It seems like I got a blotch right there. I really want, you know, to pack the punch. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go over this again. And then I don't do my nose or anything, but you could easily do it with that too. Oh, I love it. Okay, and what's gonna be different about this look than my typical, you know, bronzy look is typically I don't use a lot of shimmer. I might use a highlight or something, but for this look, I'm gonna just go for the shimmer and just suck it up. It might not make my skin look as nice, but if you have better skin than me, then you will love it. Okay, so to set everything, I'm going to use this Touche Clot 3D All Over Glow Powder Universal from YSL. Oh, I didn't realize it had a, um, oh, it has a brush with it. Hmm. I've just been using this hourglass brush and it is so pretty. It's just enough glow. I mean, did you see how pretty that is? And it's just perfect to set everything without changing your colors, but not adding too much. And I even use it for my <clears throat> Excuse me. Collarbone. Let's see. There we go. Love this. Such a good powder. I mean, I really love this. I pulled out some old favorites out of my bronze and highlight things upstairs. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and do my eyebrows and prime my eyes because yesterday... I loved the eyeshadows that I used and it was actually the Smashbox Contour Palette. So I'm gonna get my eyes ready. I brought out the MAC Charcoal Brown Shadow and I was thinking this morning, I wanted to tell you guys this. I have had my brows microbladed now for, I think I got them done at the beginning of last summer, so I guess almost a year. And this is what I wanna say. I would not do it again but it's because I do this, and I like to change up my eye, eyebrow shape, color, according to, you know, what look I want to do. And I personally, this is like a plus for a lot of people to get up and just have their eyebrows done. I feel like on me, it looks weird. I prefer if I don't have my makeup on to not have my brows on. Do you know what that, you know what I mean? It's like, to me, that looks weird to me. I don't like it. I would rather just look like I'd look with no makeup. 
so I probably will not have them done again. And you can see where she did, um, they're just a little too thick on the ends. So I have like tweezed a lot of those hairs so that I can do my own shape. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this charcoal brown, which is a great neutral brown. That's not gonna be too, um, too ashy or too dark. Just a good one. I'm going to just stay within my brow line and just fill them out and bring them out a little bit more like that. I don't feel like it's doing what I want it to do on the outer side. So I've been falling back in love with this uh, Cabral. And the color I have is three. Comes with a little brush. And it's kind of like, it's not as aggressive as the Anastasia Pomade. So get some in here and then I just feel like, yeah. See how it just makes a little bit better line right there that stays. I'm going to use the Benefit. 24 hour brow setter and you just turn it on its side where it's flat and you apply the gel like that and then you turn it back over and kind of spoolie it through. And they will be set until that night. I'm going to take my dry beauty blender and the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You can use whatever. I think yesterday for that look I used, um, I think I actually used just regular uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion with no color, but I just really, I really love this. I'm, here it is, it's just a, it's like an esthetician sponge. When I go to my dermatologist and they get me to wash my face, like before they do any type of Botox or anything, they'll get you to wash your face. And if you wet this, it's a sponge. But I ordered some and I just liked how this one is a good guide. And then when I get it too dirty, I just throw it away. So I'll link those down. I got it at Amazon, I'll link those down below. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm trying to think of what I did yesterday because I loved how it turned out. I think I started off with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess which is a, let's see, what I say? It's not a flat matte bronzer, but it's not shimmery either. It's just kind of like a glowy bronzer. So I'm gonna start right here and really bronze it up. I'm gonna bring it up and in a little bit more than I normally do, like that. And I want to say too, you're going to see every little thing on my face because I've got these crazy bright lights on me, but I'll take some pictures and show you what it looks like in real light. It won't look quite as, you know, it won't look, it'll look better. It won't look as shiny. There's no secret that matte makeup looks better on camera, but this is for you. This is for our real life. Okay. So I'm kind of going over everywhere that I had that bronzer. Then I think I started off with this in the crease too to kind of match it up. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. Let's see, like one from BK Beauty is a good one. I'm gonna twirl it in that same bronzer. I'm gonna put this going, we're gonna go out a little further today. So I'm gonna put it out and I'm just gonna start that shape and then go in my crease and then really kind of take it up in here like that. And you're gonna start that shape of pulling it out. Pull it down a little bit, swirl it in there. This is just kind of like a base like that. almost gives you too a little guide to where we're going to do our liner because it is 
pretty dramatic and it's hard to it's hard to believe you're going to do that but then when it comes together you're glad so that is our first bronzer color and that just kind of marries everything in together now is when i go into this just this is one of the first big you know contour palettes that came out and it's still so good if you don't have it it's just such a good one to have every powder in here is so good okay so the first thing i want to do is to go in that middle bronzy color and let's just use that same brush for now and let's just kind of go into the center and then maybe pull it in here and pull it out a little bit in here like that okay and then i'm also going to take this color and go underneath where's my mirror here it is And I'm probably gonna blow it out a little bit more than I typically would, you know, come down a little bit lower. Otherwise, I wouldn't use this fluffy brush. And then the next step, I think, is what made, I think it's what made me like this so much, is grab another brush that is, you know, good to place color on the lid. This one is good, it's the BK Beauty 206. Go into this kind of muted, grayed um, bronze here. It's more of your contour color. And get some on your brush and do this on your lid. There's just something so pretty about how this color looks with the bronze on the lid. It just, I just love it. And then I take a little bit of this and maybe go up into that contour area. I like that too. And then I'm going to take a little bit and do it just on the edge. So pretty. Okay, now, do I want to? I'm gonna save, you know how I like to do my final crease color after I have my wings and my lashes and everything on? Okay, this, this makes the whole look. And I'm praying that this is still available. If this particular one isn't, I know there is another one that I'm even thinking about getting. These highlights are just so pretty. I mean, they just really did a good job with these. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take just the other end of this brush and I'm gonna go into this bronzy, bronzy shade here and I'm gonna kinda of lightly go over my whole look. This is gonna really add a lot of shimmer and everything, but it's still pretty. And I'm gonna just kinda of lightly go into my eyes like that and I think that's all I'm gonna do I might do a little bit at the end of my nose okay now I would just probably wipe this off and I'm gonna go into this rosy shade for the blush and that's gonna act as your blush and your highlight because that's what this really is like that so pretty Let's see what do I want to do next I think I'm gonna go ahead and go start my eyeliner you could use brown if you want to or another color but I like with a real bronzy look I just like black eyeliner I just like the way that looks I think it's just classic and typically when I do a long wing I like to use my art liner I just feel like this one I don't know just does it better and so that's what I'm going to do. And this is the black. And I'm going to pull my mirror up as close as I can. And this is going to be a wing that's a little bit more out, not as much up. And that's kind of hard for me to do because I always want to go up. But I'm going to just kind of um, go out like that. You can always add. And then I'm gonna bring it back like that, not a thick line all over. We're focusing on out. And then fill this in. Like 
like that. And you will have to like dip this again. And I am gonna just barely touch in here, just enough to connect the look. Okay, so we're gonna put this down here at the bottom and go out and bring it in like that. See, I didn't bring my Q-tips out here. I can correct that in just a minute. The main thing is I've got them about at the right level that I want. I just need to work on that end. But that's easy to do with the Q-tip. This is something I've learned too. Make sure you have the Q-tips that are in a point like this and I put Bioderma, put Bioderma or something similar, nothing that has any oiliness in it, like a true makeup remover and kind of twist it with your finger so that it's tight and then you can correct this and it doesn't, um, if you need to add more, it doesn't leave any oil on your skin so that the next liner won't pick up. So now I'm gonna look and see. I think I do need to add. Okay, just because it's easier to correct, I'm gonna use this roller liner. Not easier to correct, but easier to perfect. That's what I was gonna say. The point. Okay, I think they're about the same. But for some reason that Lancome just flicks out better. But something like this is good to just perfect the tail. You know, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put on my mascara and I have a new one that I brought out here. It came with that little kit of the Grande Lash and it's the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. And I have not tried it, but it looks like a good one. So I thought we'd try it today. Oh, I see like a little space that didn't get filled in right here. You know what I want to do before I put mascara on? I want to, yesterday I did this and it looked so pretty. Hold on. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I think it makes it look prettier. And you also could use a black if you want to, but I just really like this. It's Bobbi Brown, rich brown, but take your darkest brown and an angle brush and just kind of um just kind of go over the top of your line it kind of just i don't know i guess you could say softens it i just think it makes it look prettier There we go. Definitely has a lot on the wand. And I don't typically curl my lashes. Oh, this is good. And this has the lash growth stuff in it. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, this I would say if you like the hourglass mascara you would like this if you like the uh, Bobbi Brown smoky lash you would like this I'm not even gonna dip it again I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lower lashes and I'm not gonna try to group them together I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit on them step is optional but I'm gonna use this um, bourbon from Urban Decay and I'm going to just Kind of run it in my lashes like that there it just kind of gives you even more of that bronzy look okay 
Now, the lashes that I love for this look. I didn't want any that were, a lot of times I go through, just like everything else, I go through what kind of lashes I like. Sometimes I like them full on and, you know, just crisscrossy and long, but then I'll do that for a while and I don't think they look that good on my eye shape. So then I'll go for the corner lashes, but some I always come back to, and I could have sworn that I left them out here last night. I wore them yesterday are the Red Cherry 43s. They are just so good, they're so inexpensive, and they just give you that, you know, that elegant look. And when I wear those, people actually ask me, do I have lashes on, or do I have lash extensions? It, does, it isn't that in your face, I've got lashes on look, and it just is perfect for this really long wing. So let me go try to find those. Here they are. So I have to trim these to fit my eyes, and I usually cut off about two big bunches from the end, from the long end. And I'm gonna use the Duo Dark, which is still my favorite. I do like the Star, Star Glue is a good one too. Okay, so I've got those drying. I have the overnight uh, lip conditioner on my lips from the Fit Glow Beauty. And Yesterday, I tried to do a lip kind of like she had on in that picture, which was just a really nude and glossy. So, I don't know. I like a little bit of shimmer, but we will put those out of the way here. We will see. First, I'm going to start off with this lip liner that I haven't used in a long time, but this is a good one. It's the Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea. I have a little bump on my lip. I hate it when that happens. Hazelnut tea is a good one because it can go in so many different directions. It's got enough pink in it. You can wear it with pink. It's got enough brown. You can wear it with a nude. It's got enough warmth. You can wear it with a peach. It's just a good one. Okay, so I'm getting a good big lip line there. And yesterday I wore this, which is that Marc Jacobs No Angel. So that definitely gives you a good bronzy, good lip. Today I was thinking, I wonder what it would look like if I took this shimmery pink and went over it. See, I think that makes it even better. I think that just, in that way, it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, and it looks a little bit glossy, but you're still keeping that same tone. Yay, that looked good. I figured it would. I knew those um, Burt's Bees were gonna be good for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on my lashes. Have a really, thin band. They're very easy to put on. And because we have this kind of thick wing on the outside, you can kind of cheat and put them up a little bit. And that's going to just raise your eye even more and help with that wing out. See how naturally now that wing looks so much better? And then I'm going to take the outside and just Set it down. Like that. And I, I have put mascara on these before, but I prefer just the, I just think the, they're kind of long on the end. They're, I was gonna say they're so long. They're kind of long on the end. So I just kind of prefer them by themselves. And then they kind of go into that long wing and now is when I would take, pick which bronzer you want. I would go with, hmm, the darkest one, which is probably going to be, you know what, yesterday I think I used a little bit of Hoola, too. So I think I'm going to take a long, skinny brush, like my Louise Young brushes. 
I'm going to put it in the hula and I'm going to go from the end of that wing like this and I'm going to run it in down like that and just connect it a little bit more. And bring it out like that. Then I noticed on her picture she actually had a little bit of black in the crease and I just do not have a good black. I tried that yesterday. I tried that new Mac one I have and it wasn't that great. I think, um, let me go look. I think maybe the, let me go look at my palettes. Hold on. Ooh, this is perfect. Look at this, this color down here. This would have been great to go over my liner. This is such a good palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's good. And I think he actually has it on sale right now. I think I got an email and it was on sale. So I'm going to take a little bit of this temptation and I'm going to go right over this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right over that wing. And then just, you go a little bit up like that. There's a true black one too, but I think I'm going to like this better. Temptation. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, okay. Should I put something else on? Okay, let's do an inner, cor inner corner color with a small, small brush so I don't mess it up. Okay, this is that e.l.f. brush. Let's do this, I don't think I've ever used this laced. It's like a gold type color. Love it. Just like that. Oh wow, that is so pretty. Okay, you guys. Ooh, I'm gonna leave this out here. We might use this some more this week. So let me take down my clips and show you how good that uh, dry shampoo is. Now, at this point, if you want to powder I know in the camera it just looks so glowy, but in person it is not that bad. And I, if I spray and then you dry it, it, I don't know, I feel like it might take away the, I don't know, the true different shimmers, the different types, you know? I don't know, I'm scared it might melt it too much and just make it look all one. And so I'm not gonna do that. So, what do you think? I love it. I love it. It's just amazing how just using all the brown tones can just look so pretty. Okay, I'm going to stand up and show you an outfit. It's a little um, jumpsuit that I got a couple of weeks ago. And I have one of these actually that I got last year from this. I got it from American Eagle and I got it in like a nudie color and I just loved it. It was just something every time I wore it, it's so easy, so comfy. I got so many compliments and I feel like it's flattering. And then today I want to show you a different way to wear it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. You guys probably remember it's this, it's like a little smocked jumpsuit with wide legs. It has pockets. And I today, please don't pay attention to how white my feet and legs are. I did not feel like putting on tanner last night. I just wanted my feet and legs to be clean. But I wanted to show you how pretty this looks with just a simple pair of mules or a lot of times I would probably throw this on with my wedge Javianas. And then I want to show you how pretty this something like this looks with a, a good, this is just an H&M long blazer. And just how, you know, I don't know, it's so comfortable, but yet it just is stylish and just makes you feel like you've got on something a little bit better than sweats and I'm all about that. I love something, mixing something comfy and like your lounge clothes with a blazer or a jacket and some good shoes and it just bumps it up a notch. And you could also, you know, do a belt. I've got a couple of belts coming that I ordered and that would give you a different look. But, and I just, I always love like straight across things. Okay, so if you can below, let me know, did you prefer the lighting during the video or now, because I just turned on my overhead light 
so that I could see the difference and so you could see the difference so you can let me know what you prefer. Okay, these are some old hoops that, oh my gosh, I don't know if my mom and dad gave me these or if John bought me these, but they're, you know, real gold. And have you noticed how these are coming back in style? And I love it. I love this good, I think it's like the late 80s and 90s hoops where they were fat and they either hugged your ear or they had that bar going through it. And it's just a different look and I love it. And then I've got on this nice thick chain that I thought went well with the earrings from Miranda Fry, my name necklace, and then my um, lightning bolt and my J for John, just to give it a little bit of a layer. And then you guys know my nail polish is that Sally Hansen. And that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.